What's going on YouTube? Uh, this is a quick video for those who are having technical issues. Um, getting your Digitech GeneX 1, 2, 3, or 4 um, working with your Mac. And uh, right now I'm running Maverick OS, the latest version, as well as GarageBand and Logic Pro, the latest versions of those. Um, so here's what you got to do to get running. Uh, hope you enjoy. Uh, for those who are savvy, hit F4. You're going to navigate to wherever you have your audio MIDI setup app and click on that. Navigate to the window in the menu, hit uh, show audio menu. All right. If you do not have your setup, uh, make sure you have sh uh, the shift button selected as well as USB source one and two selected on your GNX. Uh, on your window, you're going to see built in microphone, input, output. Those are set by your computer. What you should have if your GNX is hooked up and turned on will be Mac USB, USB 1 and 2 in out, and USB 3 and 4. The problem is, is that you cannot select uh, all four channels as a source in Apple's program. In order to do that, you have to set up what's called an aggregate device. You're going to navigate to the bottom window and select the plus, create aggregate device. When you do that, it'll pop up with this little option here, okay? This is the one I've created already. Once you uh, click on it, make sure you click on built-in input, Mac USB, USB 1.2, and USB 3.4. And right before you close out the window, make sure you select this uh, menu, hit the gear, and use this as input. If I change mine, you won't be able to hear me throughout the video. So. Once you set that, it'll save it, and you're going to exit out. Uh, I'm going to open up Logic Pro. It's the one I've been using lately, so let's get it opened up and started. All right, as you see, uh, this is what I was recording all day with the instructions I'm giving you guys. The next step will be open up Logic Pro menu, preferences, and audio. All right, here's the kicker, and this is where you can actually go wrong and get frustrated. Um, Output device, make sure you have it out to select to a built-in output, whether you're using your monitors or headphones, what have you. Uh, here's the difference, okay? In the manual for Pro Tools and in the manual for GNX, it tells you to select Digitech USB 1 and 2 out, right? You cannot do it in Apple. What you have to select is the Mac USB option. That'll enable your guitar signal to go through GNX into the USB port and recording on your um, platform, whatever program you're using right now. And make sure you hit apply changes. And that's it. Once you hit the guitar, you should start seeing the, the meter uh, peak up to how loud your volume is. And you're ready to go. So I hope this helps you. If you have any questions, um, please feel free to email me. I'll give you help. All right. See you later.